Welcome back family. We are here with another reaction video and you already know what that means. We're going to look over some videos and TikToks that reveal and discuss some crazy and almost unrealistic things that are going on in the world. I am so happy to have this community and this family with you here so we can discuss our thoughts and really expose and get into some of the stuff that's really going on out here. We definitely want to spread the truth and the awareness and have more people join us. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so you can be notified every time a new video is released. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. For some reason, this video has no sound, but pretty much they're talking about this desert in the United States in the western region somewhere where it does have this triangular Illuminati symbol that you cannot see while driving past it. Even when you're very, very close to it, you can only see a bird's eye view via airplane or anything like that. I never knew this was actually out yeah. there. If you guys want to confirm that, comment that down below, but that is pretty interesting. I'm going to expose the secret society that's living right next to me in New York City. Okay, huge. Okay, let's go. This is the, the Bilderbergs, um, the Illuminati, and um, what's uh, the, did you get it, All right? See what I mean? Uh, wake up, people. The latest prediction. Whoa, my friend looked very nervous. Um, that looked weird. It looked like he went from an apartment to a staircase, to an apartment. I don't know, maybe I'm just tripping, but that's what it looked like. But that was a little bit creepy. We didn't really see too much, did we? Unless I missed something, but yeah, he looked very nervous. Like he, he was shook. That makes me want to believe him. ...from The Simpsons for 2024 are genuinely eerie. This one is absolutely disturbing. In season 24, episode nine, Homer Simpson is preparing a bunker fully stocked with provisions for his family, anticipating something dreadful on the horizon. Shortly after a solar superstorm strikes Springfield, a silent, invisible tempest sweeping through the town, causing severe consequences, this catastrophic event leads to a complete shutdown. No internet, no electricity, everything comes to a standstill. A solar superstorm could wipe out the internet for weeks or even months or even forever. The portrayal of a solar superstorm in the episode aligns with the potential real-world impact such an event could have. Interestingly, NASA has recently made a shocking discovery, a massive hole in the sun called the Coronal Hole. This hole, large enough to engulf 60 Earth-sized planets, is currently releasing solar storms at a staggering speed of 1.8 million miles per hour and could be headed to Earth fast. The last time the Earth experienced such a storm was in 1859. It was known as the Carrington Event. The 2024 solar storm is predicted to be 60 times more powerful than the 1859 solar storm, possibly the strongest ever recorded in history. Such solar storms can have catastrophic effects on Earth, affecting satellite power grids, GPS, and potentially wiping out hard drives and the entire internet permanently. Might take decades for us to recover. It's only a matter of time. Interestingly enough, that has been a theme with all the movies and all the shows. To me, it seems like if this was a real threat, it would be more so on the news and there would be preparations going on. But I guess that they are leaving that up to us. So I'm not sure if this is just predictive programming of what they have planned or if they actually feel like this is a real threat that's going to happen naturally. The world is definitely not ready to hear this, but there is no real picture of the earth. What do you mean? Every picture that's been released that's on Google and or released from NASA is a 3D render. There's only two pictures the earth claims to have in its vault. Let yeah. me show you them right now. You're telling me that my iPhone 3G wallpaper isn't real? That's the blue marble. <laughs> the blue marble, as known from popular media and your iPhone 3, this <laughs> claims to be an actual photo of the earth from space. It's claiming that? You want me to show you the other one? The other one's hilarious. This is the real one, apparently. What? It's called the pale blue dot. Who took that? <laughs> I've taken the, better pictures my whenever my chat. phone is in my pocket accidentally, <laughs> bro. That's what this looks like. Why do all 
these pictures look so fake. If you go through Google, there's not a single one that looks even remotely real. Don't no. we have pictures of other planets? I don't think you're ready for that Saturn. conversation, bro. Saturn picture. Okay, that is the... <laughs> this is made with a really, PS2. You're really not ready for that conversation, bro. <laughs> the Oh man, that is so real and that is so embarrassing that we actually believe some of this stuff. But I mean, it's been embedded in our heads for so long that it almost feels like you're crazy if you don't believe it, you know? It's wild that we have never seen the real planet via picture. And there also has been instances where it looked like they photoshopped clouds onto the globe of what they're trying to portray the globe to look like. So yeah, guys, at this point, what's real and what's not? Britain lands beyond the ice walls. Awakening truth. <clears throat> Let's have a little journey to the old map. Guys, this is what I want to know from you guys. If you want to comment down below, what is their benefit to showing us a deceiving picture of the globe? And what are they risking and what would be their downfall if they actually showed us the real images? Other than, of course, losing complete trust, would there be any other risks in showing us the real planet that we live on. Simpsons predictions for 2024. So we all know that in the past, the Simpsons have dropped predictions that have proved to be very accurate. But here's what they have to say about the year 2024. So first off is Trump's 2024 presidential campaign. In this episode from 2015, you can see Homer flying past the sign that says Trump 2024. And this was actually before Trump was ever president. Next up is virtual reality food. In this episode, Homer and Marge are eating virtual fudge. And this is through a straw on the back of their virtual reality headsets now you may think that there's no way i feel like our food already tastes like it's virtual like it's so nasty at this point like whatever fruit and vegetables that you get and the meat don't get me started on the meat it just tastes horrible and it's and now i understand why the kids coming up now they don't like fruit they don't like vegetables because what is there to like it is absolutely tasteless that this is possible but there's actually a company that's working on this right now the company's called aero banquets rmx and they're all about eating in the digital world next up is world war 3 in this episode from 1987 homer keeps pranking his family with world war 3 scares he would keep waking them up asking them to go into the shelter as if the world was gonna end when it comes to the simpsons i feel like there's no predictions obviously since they're getting all these things right over and over and over again to me it's it's feeling like they're giving us an Easter egg hunt to what's going on. So, of course, they will be the creators of what's going on, you know? There's no way they will be predicting stuff like that for no reason. This episode. <laughs> so long, suckers! They uncovered the truth. Same old space, huh, Dad? Yep. Jealous? Well, no, we've got the same chair. You're jealous. Your membership pack. What's it? You put that sticker on your car so you won't get any tickets. And this other one keeps paramedics from stealing your wallet while working on you. Oh, and don't bother calling 911 anymore. Here's the real number. Ooh. Who controls the British now? Who keeps the metric system down? We do. We do. 
Rolling to plant this off the maps. Who keeps the Martians under wraps? We do. Roseanne Barr, did you see what she <laughs> what do y'all think inspires these episodes you guys do you think they just come up with this stuff out of nowhere people just have great imaginations and they just come up with these episodes out of complete thin air what do y'all think she said today she said she doesn't see a 2024 election even happening in the united states i don't think we're gonna have no election you want to bet money i'll bet how much i'll bet big i don't think we're a, gonna have a no thousand election. dollars all right shake hands i do not want to hear that i mean it's possible because if russia does technically declare war or we declare war then he can stay in right he could know. declare martial law or you could literally go into the war powers act which then takes him out of the the occasion and then you have an entire emergency set up right now now this is i feel like everybody has a feeling of there not being a possible election but i feel like at this point there shouldn't be an election because most of us should know that everything is rigged and what we choose isn't really going to do too much good i know there's a lot of people that i even argue with where they swear it actually makes a difference on who you vote for but with so much deception and so much control going on do you think that they would actually give us this opportunity to pick who we wanted to run our country i don't think so insane uh what if i told you that the simpsons have already predicted two major events that have happened in 2024 well hold on tight because the last one is just crazy so the first prediction is the japan tsunami dating back to season 17 episode 18 titled the wettest story ever told the simpsons are on board a boat near the coast of japan when a large wave strikes the boat and this is when they realize it is no ordinary wave, but rather a tsunami, which then heads towards the city and wipes it out. Okay, this is where it gets a little weirder. They also predicted the alien attack on the mall in Miami, which happened just days ago in a, a more recent episode where Bart and Lisa are at the mall while on vacation in Florida when they discover an evil alien lurking in the storage rooms. Whoa, didn't that just happen in Florida? <laughs> that's very interesting. Once again, they predicted something that's going on. And when I say predicted, you know what I mean. But when it comes to the tsunamis, guys, where do you think that this would actually happen most likely in the United States? What cities do you think that it would hit and affect the most? I know we have a lot of information and in a lot of movies stating that it would most likely hit New York on the East Coast. But tell me what y'all think down below. Per usual, guys, I enjoy watching these videos with you guys. Those are some dope videos. I want you to feel free discussing any ideas or opinions with our family. So comment down below if you guys have any truth or knowledge in regards to these videos. Once again, I want to say thank you for joining me today. I had an amazing time. Let's spread the truth and awareness by making these videos viral. And to do that, of course, that's where you guys come in and become a very important part of this family. Subscribe, like, share this video, and hit that notification bell down below, most importantly, so we can really spread the word. But for now, guys, that is it and that is all. Be good and do right, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.